and tonight at 6 o'clock, a Grand Parkway bombshell. The Greater Houston area's third loop may not be a loop at all. This new development dashing the hopes of thousands of drivers. The Grand Parkway, if completed, would connect seven local counties. It's a big plus for commuters. But now there's a chance funding to complete the loop will be mm -hmm. pulled. It's not set in stone, but sections B, C, and D could be on the chopping block, a piece of I as well. Channel 2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum getting answers from state transportation officials tonight. Joel. Keith, I'll tell you what, this is apparently a serious enough threat where U.S. Congressman Pete Olson has now penned a letter to transportation bigwigs in Austin urging them not to cut funding. But tonight, it's up in the air. First conceived in the 60s, the Grand Parkway is now a partially finished 180-mile loop toll road. When complete, it will dwarf Beltway 8. But... There may be a problem. Channel 2 investigates as the draft text dot document. It proposes to deauthorize funding for nearly the entire southern portion of the Grand Parkway. That's nearly 70 miles of improved road in Fort Bend, Brazoria, and Galveston counties that may not happen. The infrastructure is important. If you don't have infrastructure, you can't get from point A to point B. I don't want to undersell it. It is a big deal. It, it, it's a, it is a big deal. But... You know, before you go down the road, I think uh, uh, they're asking for public input. The issue is that toll roads are falling out of favor in Austin. They're no longer seen as the cure-all they once were. From TxDOT, quote, due to the current non-tolled environment, the commission felt it was important for the public to comment. This means it is still being discussed. And the toll road authorities involved also have another ace up their sleeve, a 10-year-old contract that promises funding. Like I said, I wouldn't even want to speculate on the next step at this point because uh, hopefully we don't have to go there. With all the complaining people do about toll roads, some say it still beats being stuck on an old narrow state road well past its prime. I feel like we need the toll roads to move the traffic in Houston. If you've got an opinion about the Grand Parkway and you want to be heard, TxDOT says they want to hear from you, at least until August 12th. We've got a direct link on the front page of click2houston.com so you can chime in. We're live in Fort Bend County tonight. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thanks for providing that to our viewers, Joel.